Saturday afternoon. And, you know, I believe, ah, come on. I believe we are at critical mass. That's what I believe. Critical mass. That's what I believe. We're at critical mass. Listen, today I learned, this is a website that has facts on it. It says this, Do, did you know multiple volcanoes across the United States from Alaska to Hawaii are now active and or on alert with rumbling, gas releases, and minor eruptions marking a surge in seismic activity? I, again, I'm going to lean on them angimals getting up out of Yellowstone. Now, if you follow my channel, you know I've been showing you all these volcanoes and earthquakes all over the world uh it's not a co it's not a coinky dink <sighs> all those volcanoes could go off you want to talk about snatched you want to talk about rescue you want to talk about raptoro rapture because the bible when you look up the word caught up is translated lot snatched out of there and in, in, in the nick of time the children of Israel in the nick of time. Noah in the nick of time. Elijah was the only one that wasn't in the nick of time. He was just found righteous in God's eyes and in his heart. And God took him. Come up here with me. You don't need to be down there. I want you up here with me. But every other instance where there had to be a snatch and grab. Because that's what God and Jesus about to do a snatch and grab. I believe that they're holding back certain things because the Bible says that the restrainer and there's always pity arguments, petty and pity, pitiful arguments about the restrainer. Oh, the restrainer is all. It's simply the spirit of God, folks. That's all the restrainer is. It's the spirit of God. The spirit of God is the church because the seven spirits, the seven flames, the seven candles is God's spirit that's been in all the earth that was sent throughout all the earth in Acts chapter 2. God is not going to allow his spirit to be on the planet when the son of perdition is given full power. That is far from God to do according to Abraham when he spoke to God about Lot and his family. You would not judge the righteous with the unjust. Without the blood, we're unjust. With the blood, we're justified. By believing in the gospel, he died for our sins in the world that we might be saved and was risen on the what? Third day by who? God the Father. For that we might, the Bible don't say will automatically or shall be saved. So when we say we got to endure to the end, that's blasphemy, folks. For people, and, and, and here's, here's, you know, I really think people say that. I don't think they really do that knowing. Well, then again, comprehension is a big thing to say that we got to, the church has to go through tribulation is a is a is is a real I don't and I'm not and I'm not punching at nobody I'm punching at the statement it is a real ignorant statement to make not ignorant in ghetto ignorant in a lack of knowledge because that's why God gave his only begotten son the number 16 in John 3:16 he God understands that all the creation ain't ignorant like he did in the days of Noah. He found the ones that were right, which was only seven plus Noah. That was eight, new beginning. Nobody else got saved, folks. And nobody else is going to get saved after the Harpazo, except for the Jews. They have to endure to the end of tribulation, folks. Not the church. That's why I did that in-depth study. 
on the seven lamps, the seven cups, the seven churches, the, the bride, the seven fires, the seven flames, the seven spirits. Seven is completion. So is three completion in the spirit realm. That's why Aaron put on the ephod, went before the Ark of the Covenant and fasted for seven days for the sins of the children of Israel. He would always come out on the eighth day. That would be a new beginning. We don't endure to the end of tribulation, folks. Nobody will do that except for the Jews. Revelation 12, when they see Satan enter into the temple, which has not been built. They're going to know that that ain't the real Yahshua. Okay. And then they're going to take off. He's going to chase after him. He's going to cause a flood to come out of his mouth. That's the reason why I say all of these floods are demonic. Because Satan has the equipment. Harp, next rad, all the weather stuff in the, in the air, wickedness in high places. That's what we fight. He has wickedness in high places everywhere. They admit to cloud seeding, folks. Government is trying to stop it. It's all over the world they're doing this. Are you trying to wash away the Christians? Trying to wash away the believers the same way you coming after Jacob? When he don't bow down and, and, and give you reverence in the third temple, you chase after him with a flood too? But God says, I caused the earth to open up and swallow that up. And I'm going to take care of them in the wilderness of Judea, which is if you look up the wilderness of Judea what it says it is east of jerusalem it's on the outskirts okay of jerusalem without the city so when you read that in the bible it says without the city without the city means whatever happens going to be outside the city it's going to be a ways off it's like the great wine press of wrath of god where blood is coming out revelation 14 it's the first stage of the wicked being judged and then those who are left, when we come back with him in Revelation 19 and 11, this, the Bible says is the brightness of his coming. Because he's not on a cloud when he come back in 19. He's coming to make war. And we come back with him in verse 14. So how, how would we be enduring to the end when we come back at the end? It's the Jews that have to endure to the end. To be saved, but they're not going to heaven, folks. As, as I said before, and I've showed you plainly in the scripts, the kingdom of heaven was taken from them, folks. That's why they have to endure to the end to be saved. God is going to protect them in the wilderness the same way he protected them in the Old Testament. Of course, there's going to be some folks within that uh, populace that's in the wilderness of Judea. It's going to be individuals that die, of course. This is going to be hard time. Can you imagine being tucked off? God got his hand of protection just on you and the rest of the world is being mollywhopped. Those are the only ones that's going to endure to the end, folks, because God loved them so. He didn't wipe them out. He could have, but he didn't. You know why? He, they did just as David did. Oh, my God, I made a mistake. God told the deaf angel, on David, stay your hand. It is enough. He repented. He only did three, three and a half, three years, three and a half years of that punishment, Bible says. The same typology for the Jews when in 12, when they, oh my God, we mourn. That's why they mourn when they see him. Because they realize, oh my God, we were wrong all this time. And it was taught in the torment that we, that we got to kill people that were, they are going to mourn. That's not us. Why would we mourn when we see Jesus? That's what we've been waiting on. We excited. We ready to take off. That's 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, 17. Okay? The Jews mourn. All this time they've been running around here to no hide. The no hide laws. Because Jesus is dead. They said they told Jesus to his face while he was walking the earth that they told him he was dead to his face then. You ain't who you say you be. We're not, see, and for that, Jacob's trouble, you have to endure to the end. 
because you did not believe in my son, the Most High says. Those who believe in my son were already taken. All of these volcanoes, folks, this is our timepiece. The volcanoes, that ring of fire, this flooding, that's, 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 that's demonic. That's man and Satan. They doing that. Letting the dams go, flooding out areas so you can bring in your little 15-minute cities, so you can bring in your new population. That ain't, that ain't God doing that. They have the equipment to make things happen, folks. Don't get it twisted. They do. They have it. And this is the same thing they did in Noah's day. So let's not act like, okay, oh, well, how we know that that ain't God doing it? No, 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 no. Satan does have power and authority. He don't have it all. But he do have NASA. Okay, that's one of them. CERN, that's one of them. HARP, all of this stuff. And NASA is Satan. Think about it. T minus five. Four. Three. Two. We have liftoff. We all know that NASA is Satan. Well, not all of us. Why do you say T minus? Why do you have to have T and then minus? Well, that's just the way we count. No, it ain't. I ain't no sucker. You got the red serpent tongue running through the name NASA. And if you add the T in NASA, and just like they did at Soul Train, when they put them letters up there, and everybody in disco and dancing, and you had to figure out what to scrap, all you got to do is don't take, and it says Satan. Why is that important? Because NASA sits in a high place. What does the Bible say about not wrestling against flesh and blood, but a wickedness, principalities in high places? But NASA does have to tell the truth under the grace age and under the authority of Yah. They can't just do what they want to do. They do have to tell the truth. And that's the that's the, the hard part for people, not wanting to hear what they have to say. But you got to understand, Jesus says god says that they must confess they can't just do what they want to do and a lot of times people don't know where they confess that but you take information from them too because again god said they must obey as well they have to be forthcoming they can't hide their hand and hide their cards but when the information come out they don't publicize it but they do and they must by the authority of the most high and the trinity which is the which is our kingdom they gotta tell their information they can't just not tell it but when they tell it they tell it with a spin but you got to be smart enough to know it's got a spin on it they're really telling you the truth but through fear people will take that and say oh well that's what happened in 2020. So to endure to the end belongs to Jacob, not the church. Because nobody, okay, is saved except for the Jews. That's why their time is shortened because they repent when they see Jesus. But tribulation is well off and good by Revelation 12. That's, they're in the middle of it by that time. And that's where they will be protected. That is an unconscionable statement to say. You got to be unconscious to say the church got to endure to the end then there ain't no such thing as Jesus Christ then if you're saying that there ain't no such thing as his death burial and resurrection if you're saying that that is one of the most dangerous things that people can say now saying it ain't no harvest that's dangerous too but to say that the church has to go through it for me that's number one number one on the abomination chart David was forgiven for his abomination, so we can't say you can't be forgiven because he was forgiven. But the ignorance of saying things like that come from listening to other whacked out people and not studying to show yourself approved. So at the end of the day, it's all about you. It's all about me being responsible for us and gaining the knowledge and the information because at the end of the day, what did Jesus say? When I come back, what I'm going to find when I come back? The whole world should be like the five wise, but we all we know, unfortunately, it's not going to be like that. Most of the world is like the five dumb. And they're going to be running around. It's going to be an awful time. Lately, I've just been in my spirit like, 
a nervousness in my spirit for people. In a blink of an eye, everything is going to change, folks. Chaos all over the world every second of the day. People hollering and screaming. Looking for their loved ones. Hours and days will go past and they won't have their loved ones back. Cars will be missing because when they drove, they drove off and you'll never see that car again. You'll never see your loved one again. All because you failed to believe the promise. And for those that fail to believe the promise, there is going to be a bewailing, the Bible says. It's, it's, there's such a cry that comes from the, not just from your gut piece, but from the soul of your, all of that. Millions and millions upon millions upon millions will be screaming like that. All this twitching and twerking and dropping it like it's hot and popping and shaking your thing. All this running around, chasing the world. And then wham! All you gonna hear, just like those movies, but it's gonna be worse. It's gonna be worse. I can't imagine being on 94, 75, 696, and you going 70 miles an hour, and then the driver's just gone. Imagine an Uber passenger or a Lyft passenger and the driver was saved and they wasn't gone and you on the freeway doing 65, 70, 80. Woo! Nobody wants to be here for that in your right spiritual mind. People running stoplights, stop signs, crime, all the dispensary joints, those are robbed. Can't get no money out the bank because ain't no money in there. Women that are left behind, gonna have to fight for your life every day. Cause some demon, some devil is gonna wanna rape. People dying every second of the day. The power, the power was given to them to kill each other with a sword. And then the great sword, which means a war as well. Volcanoes going off. Nobody, man. Nobody. Just because you can't see it here, Thomas, and you can't see it here, Thomas, that don't mean that it ain't real. The Bible says it's going to be the worst time ever. And you think the church, you think God wants the church to walk through that? The church will not make it through that. There ain't no way you're going to make it to the end. This fake church, millions of them jokers going to be offed, taken out of here. Right after that harvest. A lot of sui suicide rate, thousand percent out the window. The first two, the first two, it's going to climb. Because people are going to know they missed it. And here we are trying to tell people. You better tighten up on that goofball doctrine that you believe. Because if not, you're going to have to get it out of the mud, as they say. And you're going to have to get it on your feet. Because they want all Jesus freaks to die. Muslims and Jacob. Them first six months going to be critical, 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 critical. Mm, mm, mm. Peace.